Pradesh is known to have the best food processing policy in India. Its departments work together to ensure that your entrepreneurial spirit is best used. The AP food processing policy provides financial incentives like capital subsidy, power tariff subsidy, interest subsidy, tax incentives, 100% reimbursement of non-agriculture land assessment tax, 100% exemption of cess or fees, 50% reimbursement of certifications and export incentives among others. Our company has benefited immensely from the schemes including capital subsidy enabled by the Andhra Pradesh government. These initiatives have not only developed but also given a boost to the entire food processing industry in the state. Under the dynamic leadership of our visionary Chief Minister Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu, Andhra Pradesh has been ranked second in the country on ease of doing business by Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion World Bank Assessment together with the credit given by NABAD at reduced rate of interest makes food processing industry a more profitable venture. Government to our Tishna, single window system Allah, Parishram of the airport of Taniki, and the permission of Tono, plus Dani Tagatluga and Bankul Nunchadi Sahai on the Taniki Taku Diki, Parishram of the Dalla Pau Taniki Thor Patundi. The policy mainly consisting of two highlights one is single deck policy. And the second one is segregation of agro products into a separate division. The single deck policy they highlighted by virtue of its all permissions will be obtained with a single point through online within 21 days from the date of our application. The government of Andhra Pradesh helps in increasing the market accessibility and promotion of the various products of the food processing policy with schemes like 50% reimbursement of cost of production for participating in global trade fairs and 75% of space rent for setting up stalls in national and international expos and conferences. Epic government is setting precedents and extending all its possible support for units to market on global platforms. And this is the best example of the state's initiativeness in enhancing competitiveness of food processing industry. Andhra Pradesh has a diverse resources capacity from its fertile river systems to large land bank, offering a variety and range of raw materials from fruits and vegetables to dairy and aqua produce. Mango, uh, Goa, Papaya, uh, Green Chilli, Red Chilli, Lemon Echo, as well as uh, Banana Goda Baga. Raw metal Goda availability is very good. In Tamil Nadu, there is a source of the source of the source of the Strategic geographic location with second largest coastline in India apart, five seaports, six airports, including an international airport, wide railway network, many national and state highways and fast progressing inland waterways make for a reliable transportation system in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh has got good transportation infrastructure in place. The well-linked roads, seaports, railway stations and airports uniquely place the state to export our finished product as well. Around 60% of Andhra Pradesh's population is employed in agriculture and related activities. It has good scientific and research talent pool with 70% literacy rate, 58 agricultural research stations and horticulture and veterinary institutions. Availability of skilled as well as chief manpower that can be easily trained makes Andhra Pradesh a heaven for food processing units and helps a lot in managing my company more efficiently. Apart from offering various incentives to food processing enterprises, the Sunrise State has brought a focused attention on this sector through single window clearance. Uh, when I want to start this industry, I had a little doubt uh, how much time it will take to start this industry. But uh, to my surprise, within 21 days, I got all the required licenses and permissions. Our special thanks to the Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. He introduced uh, this single window system first time in India. Andhra Pradesh is currently a power surplus state and the state government is committed to supplying 24-7 uninterrupted power to industry. Furthermore, 
It has also embarked on an ambitious plan to add another 16,484 megawatt of power generation capacity by 2019-20. I'm happy to say that the quality power supply ranks high among the many processes that were facilitated by AP government. Uninterrupted power and water supply helps my unit to produce more products in three ships. Andhra Pradesh has set up Andhra Pradesh Food Processing Society, APFPS to act as a nodal agency for development of food processing sector. While industrial local authority status is given for food parks, the state is also planning to set up dedicated development boards for mango and banana. It is heartening to see the involvement of Andhra Pradesh government in making industrialists to consider Andhra Pradesh as their second choice. The kind of commitment shown by the state is getting reflected directly in the performance of the units like ours. The Andhra Pradesh Food Processing Policy 2015-20 expects rupees 5,000 crore investments in the food processing sector by 2020. Thus, the government policies welcome utilization of all opportunities and resources available in the state. Satsura Cash Industries, we had two benefits uh, under the subsidy scheme. One is AP Food Processing Unities and another is DIC. So DIC is a long process and a five years benefit, but AP Food Processing in Industry, 50 lakh subsidy within six months, they, they benefited for us. They given our subsidy in an easy manner, very flexible manner. So come invest and prosper in the natural gateway to East and Southeast Asia and one of the most preferred destinations for food processing industries, Andhra Pradesh.